Hey guys, what I'm going to be showing you today is how to use XAMPP with Dreamweaver so that you can test your website locally and have it fully functional as it would be actually online. Now it's not only going to save you a lot of time in the long run instead of repeatedly uploading the file to the server to test it, but it's also better for your end user instead of them seeing like uh, files that are incomplete or have errors or you having to consistently take the server offline to, up to test these new files. So first and foremost, you're going to want to have XAMPP installed. If you don't have it installed, go to Google and type XAMPP, and it's the first one that pops up, ApacheFriends.org. Now, if you just look for your uh, operating system here, mine is Windows, you know, Linux, Mac OS, Solaris, it pretty much works on anything. So just click there, download it, and install it. I'm sure I don't need to tell you how to install something. So once you have it installed, let's go to uh, My Computer, the C disk or whatever drive you installed it on and then in the root directory depending on where you installed it you should see a folder called XAMPP so if you double click that there and scroll down you should see a little icon that says XAMPP control next to it so double click that to open it and we're going to get two options Apache and MySQL now next to them is two buttons start for either of them click start next to the Apache and like you can see it says green and it's running and also click start for the MySQL and now, if we open up our browser of choice, yours can be whatever you like. I use Chrome. Go to the search bar and type local host. Host. If I can spell it, there we are. And like you can see, XM for Windows. Congratulations, you've accessibly installed XM on this server. So that's just double safety check that we've installed it properly. Go to status. And we should see that PHP activated MySQL these are the main things we want and they're working fine so for this uh, like tutorial I've gone through and downloaded WordPress now you don't have to use WordPress obviously whatever site you have you can use but for this example it's going to be WordPress so go back to where you installed XAMPP and look for a folder called htdocs and if you double click that this is where you're going to want to put all the files that for the websites you're going to test. So like you can see I've got a few folders here with my websites on. So let's go to the WordPress I downloaded and let's extract it straight into here just for test purposes. Obviously use whatever you like. Uh, I've already got a folder called WordPress, no worries, one second. Now that's that should copy over like that and now we have a fresh version of WordPress there. So if you go back to your browser Type localhost again, and this time with a forward slash, and then type the name of the folder that you just put into the htdocs folder. So I put WordPress, depending on your site, it will be different. Click enter, and like you can see here, it's just loaded up our WordPress uh, config file, and that pretty much means that everything's working fine. So if we just, you know, create a database or whatever, normal WordPress stuff, you know, you can see it's working, that's fine. And what that means is that PHP and SQL are working. So now that we have those working, we're going to want to interact or integrate even these with Dreamweaver. So if you go ahead and open Dreamweaver, this might take a few seconds. And what we're going to do in Dreamweaver is link this site folder with our Dreamweaver. So we can edit and it will automatically edit the file in the folder. So that's, once you've opened up Dreamweaver, you're going to want to click Site and then New Site. And for this one, I'll call it WordPress test. And then you're going to want to click the local site folder. So for that, it's going to be our WordPress folder, which is inside the HT docs. So it's fine. WordPress, double click that and then click select. And like you can see, local site folder and there's our folder. Now you're going to want to click server and now add a new server. And let's give it a name under the server name, WordPress offline. And then connect using, you want to scroll down on this drop down list and find local slash network. For the server folder, once again, locate your WordPress and select that. So it's c slash exempt since hdoc slash WordPress for this example. And now for the web URL, delete whatever's there and type localhost and then another forward slash and the name of your folder. So ours will be local, localhost slash WordPress. And you can also put another forward slash there, although you don't need to necessarily. Now click save. And now where it says remote, let's click unclick that and click it as a testing server. 
advanced settings we don't really need anything else let's just click save and like you can see it's caching all the files within our, our site folder and up here in, this, in the, the files folder for our website if we select our WordPress test and go to the testing server which we just set up like you can see all our files from the WordPress folder or our site folder are here so if I go and create let's say new folder test folder and go back to our HT docs open up our site like you can see there's a test folder that means they're linked together so if we go in our test folder and say create a new file test file.html let's double click that to open it in Dreamweaver and let's, let's say hello YouTube if I could spell aha uh -huh, there we are save that and now let's right click that file and go preview in a browser whatever browser you use and like you can see it's integrated perfectly it's straight in there and if I if I go back and I say blah 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 you know whatever you want refresh that Dreamweaver syncs with the local host and our WordPress folder or whatever folder you have and it's working just how we expected it to so hopefully using this you know you can be much more efficient with your web design and you know you can test things offline instead I know a lot of people they they don't know about this and they constantly are uploading to their servers it's just a huge time sink and it's really inefficient so hopefully using this method integrated WordPress with XAMPS so you can view your files offline you not only save time you give your users a better experience so I hope you guys enjoyed this short tutorial there's more to come I'll see you guys next time bye